today what we are going to do is we're going to discuss the structure of the nest.js and the theoretical side of things of nest.js uh, a lot of theory but hang on with me in this section so next section we'll do lots of implementation so this today's section a lot of theory uh, so in the previous video, we have created a, a template, generated a folder called API, and then if you open it, if you have, you notice that there are several configurations file. One for the the TypeScript configuration. You don't have to think about that. We have Nest CLI configurations, the commands that we tend to use, and we have right here the formatter. Uh, get ignore ESLint and package.json which has our scripts for running or testing the project. We have another folder called test but for this case we are not testing anything. And in the source folder we have something called main.ts and several other files. So let's go first to the main.ts. In the main.ts if you notice on line 6 uh, we could see that it is running the running a uh, number called 3000. And if you have touched uh, Express before, you notice that it is similar, whereby it is running as a server. So here in the main.ts, what it does mainly is running the server of our uh, project, which is the API folder. So that's the API server. And it is mainly running on port 3000. So when we run it, it will run, we will be able to access in the browser localhost 3000. And the line above that, when you notice line number five, we see something less factory, but then you notice it is importing something which is app module. So when you click the app module, so in line number two, so when you click, it will open the folder app.module.ts. And if you notice, it is having a class, looks weird, right? It has an at sign, it's called module, controllers and providers. So this is a really important file where it packages all different similar similar functions or classes into one file which could be called um, a module. And that's where one of the reasons Nest.js could be called modular because it packages everything any similar uh, files or classes. But then we usually say modular and it tend to be used a lot so what do we call modular though so let's go to our slides a bit and that's where we are going towards theoretical side of nest.js so here we have a simple so usually what we do is in our uh, previous express project or any kind of project usually any type of services we have would be combined like anything that is accessing towards a database be it uh, be it accessing a MongoDB database or a Postgres, MySQL, any kind of database. We have files or classes that access these kind of database and these are usually called services or repository, doesn't matter. So let's call it here as services. So anything, for example, we have a user table and we want to access some functionality in it, but we have a user service. We have a blog service, category service, and author service. So we usually tend to package that chunk into one folder, and this folder has all these services. And for the controller, similar to that, whereby we are adding all the classes, all the controllers endpoints, the uh, REST API endpoints, into one package and that package will be called controllers and it contains all user controller, category controller, auth controller, block controller. And then for the models similar to services and controllers will be having one package and then that folder will have user class, category class, block class. It makes sense to combine or combine all package the, all the classes into one package because of the names. So this one's accessing these databases, so we could call them services. And those are the front runners where they are re requesting and responding them. So all, the, all those stuff. But let's leave the accessing part where they access the database or the request and response. Do they do the same functionality? Well, they provide something, services provide something, but 
is user service accessing the same table as the block service? No, right? User service would access a table called user or collection of users. So it handles or manages a user service, whereby user controller will handle only the endpoints for the users. On the other hand, in the block controller, it handles the endpoints of the blocks. It does it, so they are unrelated. They are related in a sense of they request a response, but in business way, in the business logic side of things, they are not related at all. So that's where NestJS comes in. NestJS usually do it in this is not what we call modular, but the way NestJS does is so. Let's go to our other side. So we have here similar to what we had in our previous code, the previous packages. So we have here, um, we have category service user and all stuff. So how does the NestJS do, or how do we call it modular? So we have here, uh, let's combine all the things that that makes sense and do one functionality. So they, they handle one thing and one thing and only. So you could say a user, is a model so basically it handles the user and then we have user controller still because it is the name is user controller and it only handles something related to user right so let's combine that in one place and then we have our user service so now these three could be called one package so instead of calling it like that we will put it into one package where user service user and user control so they handle one thing and only one thing only and that is the user itself so they manage the user so let's package the other ones into that similar similar to that so what we do here is we put category here and we put category service and we have the category controller and we have the category on controller and basically we have the block service here uh, block service will be with the block controller and it will be with the block model and the all service so let's create another package here and the package would be you get the gist of it so basically what we are putting it in is these packages that do do one thing and one thing only which is this one is handling the authentication and this thing is handling the blog this thing is handling the user and this thing this thing is handling the category so now this is what we call modular because they are all related together so what can we do with it we could do we could if if it's if your system so we call this modular because if your system is structured in a way where it is it looks like that what you could do is deploy this in a different server so you don't it's independent from these different uh, packages unlike this one whereby everything is packaged in one place so this one the the user control needs to act hand reach the user service from the service packages and it cannot be deployed singularly this one can be said it is self-contained so basically this one is self-contained that's where our nest.js module comes in whereby it packages all the similar logic into a one package so similar to what we have here so we have providers and controllers so what it packages here is the controllers and providers and imports so what is controllers and providers um, so we could think of the structure of nest.js like this so let me open that so what we have here is the app.module so we have the package called app like the module called app and the module app will have several providers so they could be called aka the giver so we have a service 
you notice we have a service and we have the controller which is the rest api endpoint similar to uh, with the previous logic the previous concept we had so the controllers will be the handling the request and response so this will be under one file called app.module and they all are related together because they are like the naming sense but they are all related together in that sense now what is a provider what is a controller and what is a module itself again in a de more detailed manner so what we could regard a module would be it packages all components into one package or one file which is the app.module or any kind of module we have so anything that is similar to that does have an add sign that means it is a module that packages all files into one right and providers so basically under the module which contains or gives features towards the ones that does need the this uh, this this provider so basically a controller requires a service because a controller cannot if it requires to handle the uh, service like it requires to access the database it requires to use the service itself and we have the controller itself which is the one that handles the request and response so that will be it i think theoretical standpoint theoretically we have covered everything uh modularity the packages uh yeah and then the next section and the following section we are going deeper we're going to uh go deeper into what are providers and controllers and give implementation on it. so thank you very much and yeah hopefully it makes sense <laughs>